It usually takes about one week, maybe two weeks for my apartment to get to this place of chaos. And it's a combination of bad habits, procrastination. It goes beyond decluttering. So today is a chatty clean up my apartment with me and let's get started. Welcome to this week's video. I am doing a cleanup, tidy up of my of my appointment of my appointment of my apartment, and uh, it's going to be different though. It's not going to be a clean with me where I just like play music and jam out. I'm going to take you through this process of like how I continuously create these messes and what I'm doing differently to solve them because my goal is to make a home that is easy to keep clean. Like, I don't want to spend a lot of time cleaning. I've made an agreement with myself that I'll do 15 minutes twice a day as like an upkeep schedule. So what we're going over today are uh, procrastination, things that I've been procrastinating on, which definitely creates like an environment of clutter, uh, bad habits, which is going to be solved by me implementing this 15 minutes twice a day routine. Uh, what's the other problem I'm seeing? Oh, not everything having a home, which is why I got myself some baskets and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. And then not having systems, those things I've been procrastinating on that I need to take action, those bad habits, which are going to be an ongoing daily commitment to doing things in a different way. And the reason why I'm getting like these baskets and like trying to almost like dumb things down to the absolute base level is because I want it to work for me and my life. And I'm not someone who enjoys spending a lot of time cleaning. I really have been enjoying this process of decluttering and getting my life organized. And everything that's in my home right now, I would say are things that I need to keep either because I use them or I love them or I need them. And so now it's a matter of creating systems and homes for all of these items. So they don't just keep like exploding over my apartment. Um, and oh yeah, a lot of it is just, me it's me having bad habits but um i've realized over this last week there are some like solutions and things that i can put in place to um to change the tides so all right let's start at the desk area and i'm going to talk through you know what's what we'll label it either you know procrastination bad habit needs a system and um let's see let's see okay so i'm gonna just like go line by line with every single thing starting in this zone Oh, you know what? I'll take you to the entryway. Let's start in the entryway and I'll take you through that first. Let me take these off. This is for nausea. And I was having nausea yesterday with um, my migraine episode. Okay, so let's go to the entryway. I have two entrances to my place. So this is the entrance I go in and out of when I walk Samson several times a day. And I used to have a circular basket down here that kept falling off the stairs. So I bought this box to create a new home for the items that are sitting on the steps. And I'm going to put everything in here now, which I think will help significantly. So in here we go his brush, because I brush him down here outside. All of his pickup baggies when we go for our walks. Put them all in there. Shoes go elsewhere. My pepper spray. This is a pair of old beat up sunglasses, but it's good to have them down here because I always need some like that. Okay, this extra leash. This is his leash for dog walking.
this little thing I use when I walk him for my scarring. Come here, baby. Come on. Setting up this entryway zone in an organized fashion, such a little game changer. So in this box, I have everything I use to walk him in the mornings, uh, brush him outside, which is what happens at the base of the stairs. And then I also put a note that I leave on my door whenever I'm not home for packages that are being delivered of what to do with them. So, and it's just my, like my little inside mailbox right here at the bottom of the stairs. And there's not enough room for something this wide to fit behind the door. So having it here on the step is actually perfect. I wanna take one minute to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor. They have been such a key component of my wellness journey. I'm off sugar and flour for over two years now. I've lost almost 50 pounds. If you are someone who is trying to transition into a healthier lifestyle or a new way of eating, it can take a lot to make that change. It can be really difficult with like meal prepping and planning and grocery shopping and all of that stuff. And what Factor does, it supports wholesome eating and makes it simple. They have so many different food plans, like you can pick from their keto menu plan. That's the one that I use but they have vegan options, veggie options, calorie smart. The food is never frozen, it's all fresh. It's the closest thing I can get to having like my own personal chef. And it's cheaper than me door dashing meals to my house or going out to eat. But the quality of food is like restaurant quality. They make like this cauliflower mashed potatoes. If you try to make that yourself, like that's not an easy thing to make taste delicious, but I don't know how they do it. I've had this like cauliflower risotto this week. It was transcendent, it was so good. It's worth it to me to spend a little extra to have like the best ingredients, the best quality. Head to go.factor75.com slash the Carla Project 120 and use code the Carla Project 120 to get $120 off. Again, that's go.factor75.com slash the Carla Project 120. Use code the Carla Project 120 for $120 off. For those of you who've tried Factor and told me that you love it, I've never had a bad meal from them. Everything I've tasted is, it is so delicious. So if you're looking for meal delivery, give it a try. Thanks Factor. Back to today's video. All right, here we are at the desk. Let me take you through each item and see what what's happening here. All right, let's take it line by line. Hopefully you can't hear too much of the outside noise. It's Friday, so there's leaf blowers and garbage men and all that stuff. So, all right. This here box uh, is for a project I'm working on in the kitchen. And by the time this video comes out, I think that kitchen project will be done. So I'm actually starting a project basket. I need that. And so let me grab my circle basket that used to live on the stairs. All the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head. All right, I've got this here basket. This here basket is for projects because this is something that I'm working on it's not a procrastination I have the guy coming on Saturday to hang this light fixture and that also goes with it this is a recurring thing in my home is like home projects things I'm working on so this is the project basket yay all right dish needs to go in the sink trash 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 do you have a trash can in your living room i'm curious how many of you have trash cans in your living room i've never had one in the living room but i'm realizing that trash collects so that is a system i could put in place to make things easier for myself so let me know in the comments do you have a trash can in your living room i think it depends if you live in an apartment or you have a smaller space like my living room is part desk office i eat at my desk yeah like i kind of feel like i need maybe need a trash can in here. But for now, I'm just gonna get a plastic bag. I've got a bag here, using it, trash. What else is on this desk? Journal notebook. This is the kind of thing that would live on my desk, I think. I'm gonna start a journal pile. This is journals, yeah. Okay, these are just bad habits. Like things need to be put back. So we're gonna categorize all of this as like bad habits, things that I leave out instead of putting back. But really it's been 
in use, but yeah, let's let's put those things away. All right, um, this actually also look at this. Okay, so this is gonna go in that box that's at the bottom of the stairs. This was part of a kit that I bought to do my eyebrows, and um, I don't like how they came out. I bought this like eyebrow extension kit. I, I was gonna go pay and have it done, but I'm glad I tried it at home first. It, did, it didn't make a difference. My, my eyebrows were just like too sparse. So this came with the kit. I'm done with it and I'm gonna throw this in the trash. Trash. Okay, so this is just all, look at this, another one. Why are they up here? All of this belongs in the box downstairs that I created. All right, so in here, this looks good now. And you know what? I'm always like misplacing pens. What is this? I don't even know what drugs these are. Tylenol and I think it's for an upset stomach. I'm gonna throw those away. I bought these two boxes and I'm going to do um, an inbox and an outbox. So inbox is anything new that comes into the house that is like packages, deliveries, shopping and I bring something new home. It'll be in this bag, in this box, and it means that it's like temporary home is here and then I need to find a more permanent home because I keep allowing things into the home and I don't find an actual specific home for them. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So my desk is a combination of, you know, it's where I work, it's where I eat my meals sometimes. It's also uh, when I come up the stairs and walk in the front door of my house, that's also when I come in with mail. So it's where I like dump things. If I bring in packages, it's a lot of times where the packages end up. So that's why I created the inbox out box. So that way anything that's coming into my home that needs to be processed can go in a specific place and doesn't just end up in a pile on my desk. That's my logic behind creating that new system. The other thing I have happening here is just uh, bad habits of leaving dishes, putting things on my desk that belong elsewhere. So putting things back in their home. So it's like not having a home for everything, not putting things back in their home that belong there. And then the last thing is procrastination, which I'm just like hand shredding items right now and going through a few things that need to be trashed. But I don't have a paper shredder. I don't really wanna buy a paper shredder. So I just kind of cut things up by hand and took care of those things that I'd been procrastinating on and uh, completed that task. So the desk has been cleared. What I've done is I've created three baskets. For now, they're just gonna live in the entryway and that's good enough. Like if I had a unit in the entryway, that would be great because I could put baskets inside of the entry unit and close the door. But I don't, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm not buying any furniture at this point. So we're just gonna have the baskets here on the floor. Eventually I could probably put them in the closet once I stop procrastinating on selling the items that are in the closet. So we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. For now, here's what we've got. We've got project basket. These are things that I'm currently working on. We've got inbox. These are things that have come into the house that don't have a permanent home. They're just temporarily here or need to be processed and find a more permanent home. And this is the outbox. So these are things that need to be returned. This will go back to the little library and this will go back to my friend Yolanda. And we're gonna fill this throughout the process of cleaning up the rest of my apartment. All right, so what's going on over here? Let's see. I brought my filing cabinets out because I'm working through a lot of paperwork um, and getting things scanned and digitized and all that stuff. I have a friend who's gonna come over and help me with that. So some of that is just like paper stuff that I'm working on. This was a gift that I got. Um, is this? Oh, okay, that's the baskets I bought. So let me get my trash bag for the living room and let's fill it. Comes in handy. Bought this for a project. So we know this can go in the project basket. This is just bad habits right here. Taking off clothing and not putting it back. This is like a shape where I wore the other day. <laughs> I probably took it off as soon as I walked in the door and just 
put it on the couch. So that'll go back. Okay, wait, let's see, hold on. No, this laundry, this, I don't know if I wore this or if it's clean. Brush, I know where that goes. Bathroom, project, okay. Box, I'm gonna break down. Trash. Okay, this needs to be washed. This was like a pile of whites that I started. Oh, there's another bra. Hello, bra. Bad habit, that's a bad habit. Like taking off my bra when I come home and just putting it wherever. This dress is clean. We're gonna hang this up. Okay, so. I was kind of procrastinating on washing this because I didn't know if I wanted to wash it in my washing machine. Okay, so this is a creative solution that, maybe this is controversial. I definitely need an in-between basket for clothing. I have a clothing hamper, right? The day I go through so many outfit changes, typically I have my walking morning outfit, my get ready for work, going out, doing errands, whatever outfit my outfit one for when I come home and I'm just lounging around the house and then going to bed. So not all of those clothing items go into the dirty hamper to be washed. If I wear something to work out, something that I sweat in, that goes into the dirty clothes hamper. If I wear something that gets a stain on it, that I drop something on, that goes in the dirty clothes basket. But then there are those items that like, let's say I come home and I change into um, a pair of sweats and a tank top and I wear that for a few hours before bed, I don't put those into the dirty hamper. I usually just take them off and like throw them on the floor or on the bed or on the couch. And that starts to like collect around the apartment. But what I'm doing is having an in-between basket for those times where clothes aren't clean enough to be hung up again and they're not dirty enough to go into the hamper. It's my in-between clothing basket. And it might not make sense to anyone else, but it makes sense to me. Getting rid of these scrubbing gloves, they irritate my skin. Getting rid of this nail polish remover because I never paint my nails at home and um, I hate the smell of this. Bathroom is done. Okay, kitchen is actually not so bad. I've wheeled the washing machine in here, so I'm gonna start this cycle. And I'm gonna straighten up this countertop here. That's like laundry stuff. Tupperware needs to go back up there in the cabinet. This is Samson's basket for his treats, his dog food. Um, yeah, cleaning supplies go under the sink. And yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. Let's just straighten up straighten up a bit. This looks good.
So the washing machine is going and this is my project box. So the light fixture, I've hired someone to come and put this up tomorrow. I'm gonna start hiring people to help me with things because I just, I can't do it all. I can't. This is something I've been procrastinating on forever. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the stairs and I can hang things when I walk into the door. So let's get that set up. That is one less thing I can procrastinate on and get that done. Okay, laundry's going, we're gonna put this up and um, then we'll go into the bedroom and make some magic, AKA put away my clothes. This that has been sitting in various places in my home is finally up. Um, I'm gonna hang some stuff here. Yay! <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, that's awesome. It looks so good. I have that hanging rack. These are things that would usually just get strewn about. And then I have my little stair box. All right, let's move into the bedroom and let's take care of the clothes. This is my storage box where I keep things that are seasonal. So I'm putting my bathing suit back in there, which was in one of the beach bags I had on the floor in my living room. And I'm also putting away this scarf that I just got from a friend and a knitted cap, also seasonal items. Everything else, I'm hanging up clean clothes I'd washed earlier in the week, putting away towels, just sorting through the piles and piles and piles of clothing and getting it back to just base level of cleanliness. So my hope is now that I've found some new homes for the items that were homeless in my house, that I'm able to keep things cleaner, longer, cleaner in an easier way, uh, especially if I really stick to my daily 15 minute commitment of tidying. Taking this to my outbox because I am going to return it. And it's full. Okay, this is a return to Nordstrom. This I'm taking to my dry cleaner. This I'm returning to Target. This I'm returning to the little library. It's all out box. Um, this is stuff that doesn't have a home yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. These are books I'm reading. These are projects I'm working on. And that'll get hung tomorrow. Recycle, trash, in between clothing. Let me figure out where that's gonna live. And let me figure out where that's gonna live. Thank you for coming on this journey with me to becoming a more organized person with a simplified life, more of a minimalist. I'm definitely not perfect, but just showing you behind the scenes of what it's like. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace.